Hello, my pretties. It is time to do some skin care for burn survivors. I'm gonna put this weird thing on my head to keep my little bob back because there's nothing worse than stuff on a on blonde hair. I usually get my makeup on it. But skin care for me is not that much different right now than it was for before because I'm I'm going on 50 in about a week 50 years old and I was 45 when I got burned so um, I had to already have um, you know moisturizer and things in my repertoire so, and toner but um, right now I have already got um, my butter by you on and this is what I use to moisturize my skin now I don't know if you can see it glisten but I put it on right out of the shower whole body application except my face um, my nails are terrible y'all I just need y'all to know to please forgive me and give me some grace on it I am um, had surgery a couple of weeks ago and I'm trying to get them off because I have a donor site on my leg where they did the surgery and it is so itchy and I'm scratching it in the middle of the night. So I'm trying to get my nails off for a few days, but a couple of them are not coming off and I'm just like, I don't care. I'm going to I'm gonna talk about skincare because I needed to record today. It helps me relax and it's just a tough day. This is recording for y'all as part of my self-care. So, um, I've already got my Butter by Q on, boom. This is an oil, it comes um, in different formulations, but the lady that made it, it's a black lady here in Atlanta, and she made it to help alleviate um, eczema in her child. And I thought, isn't that a great story? Because we all as mothers know we do anything for our our babies and she found a way to alleviate eczema and it really hit home with me because um, my kids had eczema when they were little they still have eczema but they had it really badly so they even have an eczema formulation still but in butter by Q and um, then it turned out that Q is <laughs> I did an ancestry DNA Q is somehow my like fourth cousins daughter. Isn't that crazy? I mean, and I've been looking, I don't know who my father is, so I was trying to find my father. And just things that are meant to be will be. Um, if you don't want to use the oil, they also have um, uh, this body butter that you can use. And the body butter is a little more of like a, a cream instead of the real oily thing but for my skin grafts they really love the oil and I use this daily um, twice a day morning and night now when you first come out um, let me do some things while I talk um, the next step for me or anyone who is doing their makeup is going to be toner you've got a clean face you know I've washed it everything is clean I don't even have my adhesive brows on um, and this is Rose Clarifying Toner by Georgette Klinger. It is amazing. The scent is truly roses. So I use this, it's so very gentle, but it always gets so much more makeup off my face. Look, I just took a shower, washed everything, and that was still on my face deep down in my pores is where it was and um, so you always use that toner before you do anything else and I use this day and night watch what happens when I get done you'll be amazed this after makeup wipe and um, 
just a foamy face wash in the shower and you know patting it with the towel not rubbing it real hard but you know cleaning it the toner oh it even skin tone and it clears out those pores you can't leave that in your pores twice a day every day you've got to get that out so after that I let that dry for a moment um, and the next thing that we're going to use um, you notice that while I'm talking to you I've already got some lip oil on and I keep this on while I do my makeup until I'm ready to do my lipstick and then I wipe it off this is by House Labs Lady Gaga it is an HD lip oil and berry and I just put it right on there let it set the whole time so it's staying on there while I'm getting ready to do my makeup or doing my whole face and I wear it on days where I'm just around the house um, I keep it on to keep my lips moisturized because they really peel especially being my bottom lip is truly a lip my top lip is not it is made from my lower tummy uh, they had to take my top lip off it wasn't working right anymore so um, if you look really close, you know, I draw the shape of this top lip every day, but still the skin needs to be moisturized. So there's not much more left really. After toner, um, I like to use a serum, a vitamin C. This is a um, vitamin C. And it's a vitamin C serum and it's double C I put this on you do it with a little plunger I don't usually rub things with my fingers just um, just from being a burn survivor and sanitary you know your hands are dirty so I always use a brush and I always find that I use a lot less product when I use a brush to apply things as well your fingers use up a lot of the product, but your brush just really redistributes it. So I've got the vitamin C serum on, and what vitamin C does is it really kind of pumps things up, especially the under eye. You notice my under eyes are, I don't have bags under my eyes, these are skin grafts, and it's just the way they lay. Um, sometimes when I'm really tired, they do get puffy. But even at, on their best day, this is like their best day. So I try to do as much as I can to get them to lay flat. But there's only so much you can do. So that was the vitamin C serum. And I got through my Ipsy box this um, Proteini Power Peptide Serum. Resurf Serum. And I use a little bit of it every morning and evening as well because it is a resurfacing whole foods serum and the more we can get on this face the more we can get our skin to absorb the more plump it looks the smoother our makeup looks and the better our skin grafts heal if you have grafts or if you have scars you're certainly going to soften your scars if you have them and for me, I have grabs everywhere, and I'm sort of like a patchwork quilt when you really look at it. Like, you can see where this piece of skin was cut from somewhere. Um, you know, the main thing you can do, you can't ever hide scars, but you can balance your skin tone. That's what it's all about. Oh, this power peptide, by the way, I use what's left on my decolletage. At night, I put a good amount on there. Um, because I've really got a dark spot here that I just wish, I really wish that would go away. People always insult me and think that it's fur. They send me messages. We couldn't see your face because of all the fur. <sighs> like, F you. <laughs> Not a nice thing to say, but that's what I feel. This is Fenty Fat Water. You know I'm not going to do anything without my Riri. Fat Water is another toner 
very hydrating, very um, skin balancing, color balancing toner. And I don't use as much of it as I do now. I really should have put this on after the first toner, um, the Thor the Serums, but I forgot. So put that on, change that order when you're thinking about it and you're doing it. And then the last thing is um, Fenty Moisturizer. This is Hydrolyzer. Just take some on here. And you're gonna put all this on before you put on any makeup or before you go out of the house. Even if you don't wear makeup, you're going to do this to your face every day. As a survivor or as a woman of a certain age. <laughs> Um, if you're not wearing makeup, then you're going to need to add a sunscreen, which I don't have right here with me because I'm about to do makeup. You know, of course, you always use makeup with the sunscreen, which I'm pretty sure most foundation does contain it now, but be sure to check. Um, and again, if you're just doing a chill day with no makeup, then you uh, need to grab a sunscreen for your face and put that on. Um, yes, even if you're brown, we need it. So that's it. That is skincare. Um, when you first start out, just a note for the burn survivors, when you first start out um, and you come home from the hospital, you're really going to use cocoa butter. Palmer's cocoa butter is the best. Use it all over your body, your face, your entire body. And you're going to use it three times a day. And if you have compression garments, you're going to wear it under the compression garments. And you'll get a really, really much better result than not using anything. So Palmer's Cocoa Butter for at least a year, three times a day at least. Um, if you're wearing compression garments, you wear those 23 hours a day, seven days a week. And... I am four years out from my healing, so this is my skincare regimen now. I also use a lot of face masks that you find I will make stories on on my Instagram if you follow me. I like to use under eye mask, lip mask, face mask, anything that is hydrating or adds vitality or does anything because this skin is not even facial skin. It came from somewhere on my lower body. So, it's a lot to make it look like soft facial skin, but it can be done. So, whatever you're going through, please remember that this too shall pass. Remember to please subscribe so you check in. Uh, don't miss any videos. I know the next one I'm going to try to do some eyebrows that aren't adhesive because I haven't done that for y'all. So be sure to catch the next video um, and just subscribe and get notifications. And thank you for all the kind messages you send. They mean everything to me. Love you so much. This too shall pass.